Yo, what's up, guys? Guess who's back from the grave? In all honesty, guys, though, sorry I haven't uploaded in about a week. I've just been playing other games and I've kind of procrastinated making a video, but now I'm here and back and I'm gonna upload uh, this video and I'm planning on making another video too. And possibly even another video on another game, so tune in for that. But let's get into the main subject of today's video. Now today's video is going to be a very short tips and tricks on some sword fighting tips that I've learned. This is going to pretty much be a lead up until the video I'm going to make next. The video I'm making next is going to be about solo sleeping. It was requested by this user. But let's get into the tips. Now first off, I cannot stress this enough. If you know you're not going to hit a sword dash on a fight, do not go for the sword dash. After you sword dash, there's a brief window where your character cannot move, and that is pretty much opening up your range to get shot or sword lunge. It is an easy way to get a free ticket to the ferryman. Now, if you know you're going to hit the sword dash, then go for it. It does a decent amount of damage and can stun the enemy. But once again, I cannot stress it enough. Do not go for it unless you know you're going to hit your target. Also, with skeleton captains, if you sword dash them, you can keep sword dashing them. You won't have the brief window where you can't move as long as you hit them. It also applies to other skeletons, but most skeletons will die within the first sword dash range. That is, if you've shot them first. Now, if you're going to get into a sword fight or a gunfight when you have a sword, always make sure to strafe. The way you can do this is by blocking, moving, doing the little block jump thing. After you block and move, then you stop blocking, and then you jump, and then repeat the process. I hope that was simple enough to understand. You pretty much block, jump, unblock, and jump again, and repeat that in a circle. It will make, the, it, will make it harder for the enemy to hit you. Also, another good thing to practice is right as you sword dash, hold down right click. It will give you more freedom of movement. And also, right before you finally sword lunge, hit the spacebar and it will launch you even further. Following up with guns, you want to hit the target first with your weapon and then stab them with your sword. Once you shoot them, you can sword them or follow up with some slashes. This is normally a pretty easy way to kill the enemy. Anyways guys, that was a pretty short video, but like I said, it's just a lead up to the video I'm going to be making soon. Tune in for that. Thanks for watching and have a good day.